hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how i achieve my perm rod set using some products from the african pride moisture miracle line i'm going to start by applying the honey and coconut oil shampoo and applying a generous amount of that to my scalp and on my hair from root to end and i'm going to massage that into my hair i really did like this shampoo it was very moisturizing and helped detangle my hair really well and that's what i look for most in a shampoo i also love coconut oil so that's always a plus for me in any product that i use if it includes that automatically love it after shampooing my hair i went on and blew my hair out to prep for my perm rod sets as you can see here it's very stretched and fluffy after that i'm going to go on and section my hair into some smaller sections i love working in small to medium sections um they're not too big not too small but they're really at a decent size I'm going to go in using the African Pride Moisture Miracle Shea Butter and Flat Seed Curling Cream. This um, cream was also very moisturizing and hydrating and added shine to my hair. I'm also going to be using the Moisture Miracle Rose Water and Argan Oil Curl Mousse to set my hair and hold my hair into place. So after applying both of those, I go on and grab my rod and begin to place my hair onto the rod and roll it up in a curling motion. I am going to show the series of this process numerous times. As you can see here, adding the curling cream, adding some of the curling mousse, and then taking a rod and rolling my hair. I do twirl my rod in this motion as a curl because one, it's easier to separate in the takedown process. And I love the curling, coiling motion that this rolling technique produces. So again, after applying the curling cream and some of the curling mousse, I just take a ride and roll my hair upward towards me. And I usually roll and tuck the ends and then I begin to twist it around the rod all the way up until I get to my head and go on and snap my rod into place. So one more time, applying the shea butter and flaxseed curling cream, and then the rose water and argan oil curl mousse. And then again, I just take a rod, roll it upward while tucking my ends, and then twirling the rod around and snapping the rod at the base of my head. Again, this process is going to determine how your hair ultimately looks. So I advise taking your time. Do not rush it. I've ended up doing perm process about three times because something went wrong. Hair doesn't dry. So definitely be very careful. Take your time. Be careful with your product as to how much you apply. You don't want to apply too much to where the curl is very, it's like it feels drenched. Like there's so much product on it that it feels drenched and it, it stops the curl from being able to form. So depending on the thickness of your hair, apply the amount that you need to your section. Make sure your hair is very smooth out as you're applying the curling cream and the mousse make sure it's smooth onto the rod and roll your hair as best as you can onto the rod there are several times where i've had to take the whole rod out and re-roll it because it just wasn't sitting right to me 
So definitely take your time because this is where the results are formed. the last rod again you just take some of the curling cream the curl mousse and make sure your hair is very smooth and very moisturized before applying the rod and just roll it on upward and there your hair will be completely set my hair did sit for about a day before I actually did start my takedown process so definitely I just ensure that your hair is very dry even if you do not have a day but here is the next day and I am beginning to separate my hair and start the takedown process so boom curl bounce that's what I'm talking about the best thing that you can do is make sure that your hair is completely dry even if you sit for a couple hours i say sit under a hooded dryer even if you have a hand dryer just go over your head a little make sure your hair is completely dry but as you can see my hair is so shiny it's so so bouncy i am super pleased with these results before i even took my hair out i'm going to be using some of the african pride five essential oils and I'm going to apply that to my hands before separating my hair just to not create any frizz. But here, you're going to see how my hair naturally separates. Like you see how that curl just popped out of my hand. I didn't even have to tug it. I didn't have to stretch it. To me, that falls from the twirling method that I use. My hair naturally separates where it wants to. I don't like tugging or trying to separate it in a different place because that's where you get frizz but here in the summer you guys can see those curls are just so bouncy they're so soft and they're so neat i think my hair being stretched applying the curling cream and the curl mousse set my hair so well and produced these beautiful curls so when i say i was obsessed and super super happy with these results so here I am still separating I separate naturally again so it could be two to three times some may separate four times but mostly two to three don't force your hair to separate more than it really has to definitely not on day one but here my hair is completely separated and I'm just going to show you guys that curl that bounce the shine the curls are so neat and beautiful i love it here i'm just going to take a pick and pick my hair again you guys know i am all about volume 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 i love definition but volume is what gets the hair going to me so i'm just going to keep going in with my pick and picking my hair as best as i can until it's full and in a decent and in my desired shape, so I'm just showing you guys one side pick and one side not. That just shows you how far picking can go if you pick correctly. So definitely don't pull in your hair too much or tug it too much. Just kind of grab the ends and run your pick through that. And that should give you good volume. 
So again, I highly recommend this African Pride Moisture Miracle line because do you see these curls and the bounce and the shine, honey? I love it. Thank you so much, African Pride and Impressions of Beauty. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely stay tuned for more.